Hello and a very, very good evening. My name's Sean Ryan. You are, of course, watching the Planet Cruise TV show. I've just come back from a cruise. I'm going to tell you about all, everything I did next week because tonight we've got a very special hour. It's a P&O takeover show, which means we've got exclusive deals. We've got loads of freebies and we've got a very special guest as well. We've got two guests. We've got... The good old keys. I don't count. It's all about. It's all about Paul. Tonight. It is all about you. Is it Paul's? really all about yeah, me? Yeah, I can't it, believe it's, it's all, all about, about you. Me. Nice to meet I you. I thought it was all about Keith. Well, it <laughs> normally is. Is it? Yeah, it's normally all about Keith, but not it's tonight. <laughs> so I'm in charge tonight. Um, <laughs> well, I suppose. No, I like yeah, it. well, it's worth a try. <laughs> <laughs> now, Paul, for what's, what's your role in P&O? It's quite uh, a big role. Again, yeah, isn't I'm it? the head of entertainment for P&O Cruises. Wow. So I look after all the entertainment product that you experience when you're on board any of our eight ships. And we're going to be talking so, about that, aren't we, throughout the show? Yeah, well, I'll give you some insight into what we do. Some of the uh, guest lecturers, probably some of our food heroes, might talk about a little bit later. Very and good. And a very glitzy TV program. Uh, now, I know tonight you've given us some amazing deals. Yeah. Many of them exclusive. Uh, also. I'm right in saying that every view tonight is going to get a £25 MS voucher. Is Everybody that right? books a cruise tonight, a P&O Cruises uh, cruise tonight on this from show. From the show. From what, the show, yeah. gets a £25 That's MS right. voucher. Absolutely. They've got to book it tonight, so it can't yes. be, it can't be, you know, so seeing something tonight. Before anyway. I get into the car to go back to Southampton. So, <laughs> there you go, if you book... <laughs> if you don't, I'm going to be laughing this whole hour, I can tell. Um, so, anyone that books a cruise off tonight's show will get a £25 Marks and Spencer voucher. You've got to book it tonight, but also the first 25 bookings are going to get a fantastic goodie bag as well. It's the white company. It, yeah, it is. It's well, Keith, you've been rummaging through this, haven't you? I've had a rummage in you've your goodie bag, Sean. It is, it is, the rumours are true. And uh, his and hers p and binoculars are there. Uh, a bottle of wine. The white company box set. And this is fantastic because, as Paul would tell you, the white company, uh, they've introduced white company goods on board Britannia. Well, the ship that's going to feature. took one from the naming ceremony. <laughs> 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 it's, like, yeah. it's, a, it's a great company to work with. And it's a brilliant uh, bag of toiletries. Yeah. So, uh, um, box. you've got a book. Quickly, though, because that's only for the first 25 bookings. And we have got some exclusive offers. I've got to say, the pricing on all the cruises tonight is ridiculously low. Yeah, isn't because it? Because I did it. Did you do it? Yeah, they, You're they gave maps, me the gate. Yeah, uh, yeah. These, these <laughs> deals are amazing. I mean, we don't even get deals like this in the office. You were saying they are, that, they are brilliant. Like, yeah. So tonight is honestly the night to book with P and I. So, um,. I feel a bit silly asking this because it's a company I think we all know and love, but tell us a bit about P&O. So those that P and that never cruise the before. most recognisable British cruise company and designed for the British market. Yeah. Eight beautiful ships. Britannia joined us a little bit earlier in this year. Um, family and adult orientated ships um, designed for the British market. You know, the, the great thing is you can get on in Southampton with as, li as much luggage as you want. But if you do fly cruising with us, you're into the sun on the day that you leave a UK airport. So and everything, we, and, and everything ev on board is in the British pound as well, Yeah, isn't every, you pay for everything in British pounds, British TV, British product on board. Um, we reference British contemporary pop and British contemporary entertainment in our product lineup. Um, food here. Heroes, lots of British food on as well. And British how many beers, years British experience wine. have Pinot mm. got now? 178. Is it as many as that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Keith's experience. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, can we just say, Keith, one has, night, yeah. Keith has been on <laughs> nearly every single ship with Pinot. Now, now um, a lot of your cruises, um, and many tonight, um, actually cruise from Southampton, as Paul said, making it really easy. And one of the best things, so maybe you don't live near Southampton, and I always think it's sometimes a bit of a worry on the day, driving down, you know, thinking, am I going to get on the ship yeah. in time? So we've actually got uh, an exclusive offer with the Me and Marriott Valley Hotel. Take that the wrong way around. Me on Valley Marriott. Valley Marriott. Yeah. You kind of got it can tell I've been on holiday, can't you? They can. Yeah. You're still, you're still, the effects of the drinks package are still there. <laughs> That's what it was. Could be a bit of truth like it. But anyway, here's a little clip of film just showing you how you can pre-stay uh, the night before at the Me and Valley Marriott. I got it right that time. Here we go. <laughs> Planet Cruise have a great partnership with the Marriott Mean Valley Four Star Hotel here in Southampton. Bed, breakfast, free car parking, transfers to and from the port are actually all included. Now I arrived earlier yesterday, I had someone take care of my bags, I went for a swim, I had the most amazing night's sleep and I've just finished off a hearty breakfast. And now with my car safely parked, I'm about to take the chauffeur driven shuttle to Southampton Port which is a mere 12 miles away. And then when my cruise is over, they'll drop me off here and I can drive safely home. 
I tell you, you are really well looked after there, and it, just, it makes things so much easier. But we're going to start the show with our first P and O cruise, and it is an amazing one. On their latest ship, the beautiful Britannia, um, and I'm looking, the price is starting at five six nine. Five six nine. And this is your newest ship. Yeah, it's a new ship. Uh, launched in March this year. Um, it's got some great features, really new uh, experience for us, Limelight Club, amazing spa facilities, LED technology in the theatres. We've got the Cookery Club, which is the only cookery club at sea uh, where, where our food heroes join. We've got Strictly Come Dancing coming on later in the year. It's a great ship, I and mean, Keith, well, I'd, Keith I'd, was I'd, there on the actual yes, day I'd, that we named it. Because I'd, I'd love to see the ship, but of course, you know, I'm just stuck in the studio. But Keith, yes. You were there. We, we did have to wrestle the champagne bottle off his hands because I think he wanted to shatter the bottle on it and name it. <laughs> That's actually well, the let's, queen. Let's, 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 let's have a clip from that amazing day. The day is finally here. I'm so excited. We're on the dockside here in Southampton. The sun is shining. There's music playing. There's entertainment. There's royalty and the food heroes gathering and having their photos taken. And we're here right on the side of the press pen. Behind me, you can see the beautiful new ship for P&O Cruises, Britannia. We've had a look round. She is absolutely stunning. And Richmond International does such a wonderful job throughout the ship. All we need now is Her Royal Highness to come along and hit the button and release the bottle of a suspender just above me that will crash into the side of the ship and of course christen her and officially launch this beautiful new addition to the cruise industry. We await the royal touch. Distinguished guests, I warmly welcome you to this truly auspicious occasion where the piano name is once again <coughs> set to make maritime history. I name the ship Britannia. May God bless her and all who sail in her. She looks an absolutely stunning ship. It feels like a lifetime ago, so, but it was literally March this year, and it, the, the ship is absolutely stunning. To see it from, you know, the concept design and visit the ship in refit, see a steel shell, you know, and as it yeah. comes to life, then on the, the naming ceremony day, to see the Queen there and a, a huge bottle of champagne smash against it. And you organised that, didn't you? I mean, that was yeah, your baby in the, the sense, whole, the whole show, yeah. incredible. Yeah. And, and uh, you know, I, I think all of us have, have travelled on ships, some, you know, some are brand new, some are maybe 10, 15 years old, and in general, cruises are very well maintained in the cruise industry, but there's nothing like a new ship with the latest technology, the latest design. Yeah, you, you get a little bit protective as well, as yeah. in particular the first day that the, the guests get on, and think, oh my God, you know, we've had the ship for so long Don't and nobody's anything. been in it. Yeah. <laughs> One thing we forgot to mention at the top of the show, many of the deals throughout this hour are, are fantastic for single occupancy as well. You've got a special single yeah, cabins we've, we've on board, haven't you? Yeah, we've got bespoke designed single occupancy yeah. cabins and single occupancy balcony cabins on Britannia and they are they're genuinely not a, a two berth cabin split into one they were designed as single occupancy cabins and they're beautiful they are like I'm that. sure they're you really, went really in nice. one on I well, did I did yeah you can actually book this cruise tonight um, and only pay a tiny deposit of 50 pounds but let's show you where you're going to be cruising to so nice and easy from Southampton so you can take loads and loads of luggage. That's right, you've got a relaxing day at sea to enjoy all that ship has to offer. And then you're gonna go straight across to La Rochelle, the wonderful 14th century Twin Towers. You can see there in the port will welcome. It used to be a chain they used to pull up to guard the port. They'll lower it, I'm sure, as the ship comes in. And then you get to dock alongside. And this is great because you've got a great mixture of historical buildings, marketplaces, lots of great bars and restaurants to go and enjoy. Great aquarium locally as well. Or you can head through to Cognac, uh, Corifisa, Hennessy, 
and the Martel Cellars, which is a great little thing to do if you want to go and do a bit of a tasting and have a, a, a jolly afternoon, shall we say. We're moving on now through uh, to Bilbao. This is a little bit um, what used to be more off the, the beaten track, but Frank Gehry's masterpiece of a museum, which sits on the Nervian Riverside, has really kind of brought a lot more attention to this wonderful part of, uh, of Spain. And it's a great opportunity for you to walk along what is really a linear park. There's loads of quirky art, like you'll see the, the, the amazing flower dog uh, that you can go and enjoy that's coming up next. Go inside the museum as well. There's loads of amazing artwork on both floors. The top one is the, the one that kind of moves and changes every six months. The bottom one is the stuff that's there permanently. You've also got the largest covered market in Spain, which you can go and enjoy, or head through to San Sebastian, which is a haunt of the royal family. Get great lobster there, and you might catch a glimpse of the uh, Spanish royals enjoying themselves or sunning themselves on the beach. Next, we're going to move around uh, up the coast. Again, another Spanish gem, La Coruña. Uh, funnily enough, it's here that the Spanish Armada set sail way, way, all the way back in the 16th century. These days, it's a lovely, wide, open harbour. It's got a great 10-mile um, seaside promenade that you can walk all the way around called the Pasamo Maritimo. But again, with quirky artwork, like a multicoloured octopus that you can go and see. This is the birthplace of Zara, so a great place to go and do some shopping if you want to. You've got the Tower of Hercules. It's the oldest uh, working lighthouse. It's been working for over 2,000 years. It's Roman. It's fantastic again set out of there and you've also got a great chance to go up the San Pedro Mount you're going to see next the San Pedro Elevator uh, and that goes up and down every 20 minutes or so and gives looks, you great views. Looks really weird. It is, it is quite yeah. space age but it's, it's, it's incredible <laughs> it does, for the business. <laughs> and of course San, San, uh, Santiago de Compostela, the third greatest Christian pilgrimage is also a big attraction here. Then we're going through a relaxing date scene before we hit what's my favourite port of the, of the itinerary. Uh, the closest place to home in a sense it's Guernsey, St Peter's Port, really pretty. It's a tax haven so you've got Lots of great restaurants there where all the kind of you know the people that like to make a lot of money and go and eat well get to go and enjoy. But they're actually really well priced. Uh, there's there's buses that go round. There's only two buses. One goes one way. One goes the other way. And they're a great way of getting around the island. It was the only part of the UK to be occupied by the Germans during World War II. So there's loads of German fortifications to enjoy. Or Victor Hugo's house, Waterfall House, is another highlight to go and enjoy as well. But just go and do a walk because it's beautiful and green. I agree. I, I loved my day there. I was actually there with PNL. I was really. Yeah. Was it? yeah. Um, oh, great. Test me now. It was a mini cruise. Oh, okay. I think again, as Keith said, I think, I think, think, people, I think lots of the Brits don't actually get to that port of call no. and they miss it. It's beautiful, and it and we get a lot of feedback from that port. Of call it's one of the prettiest. I'd say it's pretty, probably the prettiest harbour in the whole of the Mediterranean. Yeah, yeah, by it's far. Really beautiful. Well, let's um, let's quickly remind you what's included. We've got brilliant prices tonight. Now, an exclusive low deposit. If you book with us tonight with Planet Cruise, you only have to find £50 per person. Um, great for Family Fours. We worked out the price there. If you uh, go for the 2nd of May date, it only works out 1719. That's for a family of four. And as we mentioned earlier, um, you can add a, a pre-night stay in the Mian Valley Marriott in Southampton for only £79 per person. And if you do that, you will get parking and port transfers. And uh, the balcony special tonight is only 669. Um, every book don't forget tonight, if you book one of the cruises from tonight's show, you'll get a £25 M&S voucher. And also, the first 25 bookings will get that fantastic goodie bag mm. that Keith's rummaged through. <laughs> now, <laughs> starting rumours. I, I can also, of all, all of my, all of my um, quite large circle of friends, the person that loves their food the most is definitely Keith Maynard. You love your food. No, you do, Keith. I do love my food. Yeah. True, yeah. Hopefully, it doesn't show too much. But no, no, you do. You slimmed off a lot, actually. Food? A particular favourite food. Particular favourite. Just food in general. But, but I, I'm food. a bit partial to pizza, I must admit. Really? Pizza, yeah. I'm a real, I've got a real weakness for pizza. I mean, I have to have one at least one a week. We've got a pizza bar in Britannia. Have you? Yeah. Fresh pizza. But, so now, done, done. But you love your food, and, and, and talking of food, you've got. I thought you were going to say, you obviously love your food as well. <laughs> oh, no, you love this. I wonder where we were going now. It's going to be one of those shows, isn't it? <laughs> now, that, that was my professional food, link towards your food heroes. Our food heroes, yes. Yeah, yeah. We work with some of the UK's top chefs, you know, Marco Pierre White, Atoll Kocher, James Martin, who you see every Saturday morning. Uh, visit Britannia during the, in, into the cookery club. You can book a, a lesson, learn how to make your food turn into something really amazing. Eric Lanlard, Master Patissier on Britannia, has got the Market Cafe. Mm. Uh, and we're rolling out Eric Lanlard's afternoon tea across the rest of the wow. fleet. Um, and Ollie Smith, our wine expert, probably Keith's favourite of all our food uh, <laughs> heroes. No, that's but, probably uh, mine, actually. And I think the great thing about this is you get up close and personal with them. You get a chance to ask the questions that you probably don't normally get a chance to ask, see them in their working environment, um, and then taste the food that you've cooked for them.
That's and on Britannia, you can actually get a host of dinner with them as well. So they will cook your dinner That's in the cooker club. So, so this is why Keith has been on six of the eight <laughs> ships, by the way, with P&I. Anyway. Still got a couple right. more to go, Paul. Go on, we'll yeah. get you on Aurora. <laughs> Just telling you two guys now, we're getting really told off from our producer. Right. But yeah, <gasps> we're, yeah, we were way over time already. Right. So <laughs> marching on. I'm going to be in control now. <laughs> because our, our next cruise, uh, again with P&I, of course, is with Oceana. And... Keith, it's you again. <laughs> yes, I'm sorry. <laughs> I yeah. apologise to everyone watching at home. It's <laughs> Keith on board yet again. You've been on more ships. At just 77,000 tonnes, P&O Cruises Oceana may not be the biggest in the fleet, but she certainly packs a mighty punch. Fresh from her recent refitting, she was extensively and expensively refurbished and looks absolutely beautiful. Oh. You know, as a proud Englishman, the centre of my universe has always been my local pub. And on P&O, you really won't go wrong by visiting this beautiful yacht and compass nautically themed pub, which serves up a healthy selection of Britain's best. On top of that, you can really live the high life on this ship with the bubbles of the Magnum Champagne Bar or dancing into the wee hours in the chic Le Club. Whether you choose the more traditional fixed dining of the Adriatic or the freedom dining of the Ligarian, both restaurants serve up consistently delicious food from an ever-smiling army of knowledgeable waiters. For those who prefer their dining al fresco, then why not try a super tender steak at the Horizon Grill on Deck 14? You guarantee great taste and even better views. Or pop along and let Marco Pierre White dazzle your taste buds at Café Jardin. Friendly and interactive, as well as diverse, Oceana offers many entertainment options, from the high-rolling fun of the Monte Carlo Club to the cabaret and comedy of Starlights. You can pop along to the atrium for a classical recital, or head here for a pint and watch your favourite team in the winner's sports bar. And then, after a great meal, go to the Footlights Theatre, where you'll be hard-pressed to believe that you're not actually sitting in the West End. Stylish and inviting, Oceana's cabins come in all shapes and sizes, from spacious and fully equipped suites like this, offering a host of extra special touches to mini suites, balcony cabins, and standard inside or outside cabins. But all come with a host of mod cons and the daily steward service, plus the all important tea and coffee making facilities. Because if you're like me, you can't even face the rest of the world without at least one cup of coffee. Do I really agree with that, Keith? You were listening to yourself, though, weren't you? I, I, I was. I was also. I was well, also getting I, quite excited because Twitter's going crazy with different with different comments. But uh, what, what what particular thing did you agree just with? Just have a nice cup of coffee and tea on a morning. Oh, and he looked very yeah. relaxed on that bed, didn't he? He yeah. sat there very comfortable, wasn't he? <laughs> <laughs> he was, well, you know. Like, you know <laughs> uh, it, that's what it does to me. You get on a cruise ship and everything starts. You start to relax and unwind. I've got to say, it's Greg Smith's been in touch. Yeah. A balcony for six six nine. I'm having that. Thank you, Greg Smith. If it does um, it tonight, it gets an MNS twenty five pound voucher. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And if you quit, you get the goodie bag. And the goodie bag. And Sarah Avis. Wow, what a great start to the show. Hashtag Britannia. Um, I will Sarah. say, by the way, we we are going to be exceptionally busy tonight. We are going to say, please book tonight because you get all of the extras and those exclusive low deposits on many of the cruises as well. Now, this cruise starts off with a little flight to Venice, uh, where, of course, you embark. And what a great port to cruise out of, guys. Fantastic. And again, you've got that wonderful opportunity now to go right past St. Mark's Square, to almost touching distance of the Campanile. You'll get the lovely kind of uh, speed boats that you imagine James Bond wrestling with Jaws on the back as they kind of race up past the ship. Uh, and you get that great feel, that perfect romantic start to your cruise. And you head on down the Adriatic um, and your first port of call after a relaxing day at sea to enjoy all that uh, Oceana has to offer is KOTOR. This is the uh, beautiful entry. Make sure you're out on, on, on deck at least two hours before you arrive because it's Europe's longest fjord uh, and long and beautiful beautiful mountainous arrival very lush very green and then you come to this walled city which is burrowed into the hillside you can walk the walls I recommend you do that it's a wonderful maritime museum take a trip over to Budva um, which has got these gorgeous beaches and dates back over 2,000 years um, or you can try to sit down on the local cafes that lie on the inside of the wall and try some Najuski Prusta 
which is their version of a uh, kind of um, the Prosecco ham. It's gorgeous. And Ooh, very Sputo. nice. Sputo Sputo again, is probably please. the best yeah. pronunciation. And you pronounced there. it really well. Did I? <laughs> yeah. I think, yeah. yeah. Then we're going to move on to Corfu. Uh, this is going further down the Adriatic. This big, bold, beautiful island where Shakespeare set the Tempest is gorgeous. Millions of silvery olive trees gracing the hillside, the scent of lemon blossom in the air. Great chance for you to walk up to this great walled entrance to the old town. You can carry on 15, 20 minutes past to Monrepus for a little bit of beach and some great Roman ruins. Or you can head through to the Achillean Palace, which is renowned for its architecture and of course it's where they filmed for Euros only the James Bond film but lots to do on the whole island it's very beautiful it's a great water park if you're there with the family as well that I used to take my, my entertainment team my entertainment teams too and uh, Paul's budget it will come out of Paul's budget so it's always good <laughs> when he should have been working that's exactly it uh, <laughs> the cruise in the Straits of Messina before we go through to Rome uh, the eternal city Civita Vecchia of course is the port of call um, but just a couple about an hour and a half in and then you're in the eternal city so much to see but you're going to see the Colosseum first uh, that's probably the legendary iconic image of Rome where the gladiators used to fight to the death uh, for the thumb up or thumb down of, of the Caesar uh, and then of course lots of Piazza Navona this is beautiful because it's here where they used to do public ex executions nowadays um, it's got three beautiful fountains lots of little restaurants right around the outside a whole host of restaurants nearby as well um, but so much to do here whether it's the Spanish steps whether it's Viacon Dante for your shopping or heading to see the Pope at, uh, at the Vatican City you'll enjoy it then we're going through to my favourite destination on this itinerary uh, Corsica the port is a Jassio this is the perfumed isle it's the, the island that gave us Napoleon Bonaparte who, who of course affected so much of, uh, uh, of Europe with his, with his big hat and, and uh, big personality. And it's a beautiful port of call, you know, just minutes from where you dock, you've got lots of little beaches, you've got a great little farmer's market where you can get the spicy Corsican sausage, the, the plum liqueur, um, and, and you can also get these wonderful honey cakes. Um, everywhere you go, you'll see little statues of a little man. Head out into the actual mountainous interior, go to Capaluta Park, it's Europe's only tortoise protection centre, and it's there that you can go and enjoy this wonderful, wonderful species from little babies right through to wizened old grandfathers. Then we're going through um, back to Genoa and um, from here of course if you get a chance to try some focaccia. Focaccia was invented here along with pesto. It's the market square of the Mediterranean. Great for shopping, great for food before you head back um, to the UK. And so you've got some lovely ports on that one. Yeah, yeah, it's fantastic. I think that coupled with Oceana because it's, it's a relatively medium-sized ship and it's always known as our friendly ship Oceana. I think that's great for people who probably never taken a cruise before because you do get those iconic ports of call and every you know film sets every you've seen them across multimedia and Very it, true. it is amazing um, now just also to mind you we've got some amazing office night this one has free Wi-Fi and that's 120 minutes. That could cost you a lot. You know, Wi-Fi on ships can be very expensive. It could, but also 120 minutes when you're on holiday and you're on board, it can last you quite a few oh, days yeah. as well. It's not, you know, it's not gonna. It's not like you sat at home constantly on it. So that's free tonight. You've got return flights. Them included as well. We've also got flights available from Birmingham, Manchester, or Glasgow. Just small supplements for those as well. Uh, and the itineraries they differ slightly d depending on those departure dates. Now, price-wise. Really impressed here again, Paul. You know, starting at five seven nine. Um, you know, even in the peak season, there we're only talking about say August prices of seven six nine, and really worth looking at those upgrades. And you know, if you look at something like the outside, say or in April, you're not. You know, you're only talking about eighty pounds more for that. So some amazing offers across the board there. Now, you'd be pleased to know we're back we're on back. time, boys. Really, thank yes, you. We're behaving now. Well, can I just say, Carla G's got in touch. She says, um, two fantastic cruises to start with. Um, now, which one to choose? Britannia winning by a nose because Eric Lavnard is on board. Ah, there you go. There Cakes. 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 We like a bit of cake, we? we? love a bit of cake. Let Let Eric, cake. Eric's a great personality. And when you get onto Britannia, you walk into the atrium and see the Starburst and look at the Market Cafe, and it's got that amazing selection of patisserie. Mm. And then, you know, you can get a cake, uh, you can get cheese board uh, and just sit there and watch the world go back. It's a great way to start. I tell you, we are, we, we've got such a good show tonight. However, our next cruise is on board the Azura. And Keith's not on board on this one, Keith. No. It's not you, is it? It's, it's, Who's on board? No. Who's on? Who's on I, it? I, I, well, I, I think, that it, was, I think there was, it was being sailed by the captain. and, ah, um, really? and, and there, I, I wasn't there at the time, so I can't confirm that. But it did, did successfully go from port to port. Without you? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> And you can see, I mean, I mean, I mean, you, you can tell us more about the. Is it 176 Azura's, years? Yeah, yeah, 100, 178 years of history. 178. Of cruises, yeah. oh, wow. But uh, Azora's a great. Uh, it's a it's a relatively large size ship for us, 
but again, the public areas inside, the theatre, the midships lounge, the aft lounge, the crow's nest, you know, it's all... The, the way that we programme the entertainment, we try and give as many options as you possibly can. It's not all about going into the theatre. Mm. You know, if you're not in the theatre, there's enough entertainment and enough activities, you know, to, to keep you going all day. And also, it's a great family friendly ship. This one, the youth facility in this area, is amazing, and and it just closed on the spa. It's it's really like more like a resort at sea, Azora. Do you know, just thinking of you talking about Pino, and um, I've met so so many uh, Pino customers that will tell me, you know. Stories such as you know, I've, I've you know cruised with PNO now, and I've been on fifteen of their ships, and will never cruise with anybody else. You've yes. got such a loyal. We've got following, a very very you? loyal following. Yeah. Yeah. And and what we in particular with Britannia, we we took a lot of our feedback from our loyal guests who you know we protected the ballroom. You know, I think people thought yeah. that we were going to really modernise it, but we kept the fundamental basics of what our British product is and what our guests really like, but just put a slight modern yeah. twist on it. But yeah, they, they love it and, and they tell us what they like. And we react to what they don't like. And as tonight well. <laughs> is the best time you could ever book a PO cruise with us here with Planet Cruise, of course. Can I just say that I didn't know this, and I'm, gonna, I'm just going to congratulate you for this, but Andy Reid's got in touch. He's been tweeting me early. He said, Great show. P uh, and he loves the fact that PO give Forces veterans £125 extra on board spend. He's an ex Forces I didn't veteran know that. himself. Uh, yeah. yeah, we've just started, I believe. Yeah. It's really, yeah. really great. So wow. congratulations. That's a really, really great thank thing. You. So thank well, you for um, touch, Andy. Thank you so much. Now, this. Uh, oh. No, I'd love to do this one. OK. Starts off with a, a flight over to Barbados. That's not a bad start. Uh, and then you're away on an amazing 15-night cruise. Barbados, wow. You can hear those steel drums, can't you? You can, you can you almost can. imagine that everyone coming back on with, with a wonderful town and having their hair braided, which is often what happens when it goes to the Caribbean. Did you do that? <laughs> I did. My head didn't have enough hair. <laughs> it's struggling with me, yeah, as well. <laughs> I had the town, though. Oh, I mean, Barbados, Little England, as it's known. You can have high tea in Trafalgar Square. You can head out to the Mount Gay Rum um, you know, Museum and, and distillery there to celebrate 300 years of that wonderfully sugary... Um, uh, sugary drink. You can go in s snorkeling in search of the Hawksbill and green turtles that call this island home. You can take it easy on Carlisle Beach. You can go underwater in a submarine or try scuba diving. It's an amazing part of the world to go and enjoy. Great local bus service again. And most of the Caribbean islands have that. You can just for a couple of dollars you can head up the coast and find your own deserted beach. Um, and if you really want to see people enjoying themselves, uh, particularly your crew, head to the boatyard and that will be I very knew you were going to say. <laughs> <laughs> the, the nice thing about flying to Barbados is your holiday really starts from the minute you get off the plane straight into a transfer onto the ship and, and it is it's a really easy island to explore even on the day that you join it and it, it is a, it's a great location to absolutely start fantastic holiday. place and then of course you're relaxing day see on board the ship you were, before you get to Bonaire this is great because this is quite a rare thing to have on, on an itinerary it is. and it's a diving island this it really is and in fact uh, you just need to look on their number plate uh, and it just says the words divers paradise and you can see here the green turtles these all about the underwater world if you're on, on, on the, on the, on the uh, land side of it you've got wonderful flamingo sanctuaries, you've got uh, saltwater pools all over the island where you can see them in the native habitat. Lots of beaches, great place to enjoy. Then we're going to move on now to another part of the Dutch Antilles, quite a rare port here, Curacao. William Stat is the name of the, the, the port itself. It's a little Dutch island that's now beginning to creep more into the Caribbean uh, radar. Uh, you've got wonderful footprint-free beaches, pretty colonial towns with the great bright colours that the Dutch islands often portray. You've also got great lagoons, um, you've got the ostrich park you can head through to, uh, and loads of other stuff. Then you're going to go through to Aruba. I learned to dive on Aruba way back in 2000, and uh, I love Aruba. It's a great island. It's, it's a bit like the Wild West of the Caribbean because you've got lots of cacti in, inside. I mean, on the outside, beautiful beaches with the incredible coral reefs. Then we've got a relaxing day at sea before you go through to the newest port in the Caribbean. This is Amber Cove. It's a dedicated port for carnival cruises, which I believe cost you £85 million. Pounds. I believe it's £85 million, yeah. Completely redeveloped and it's brand new. Um, I think Britannia's got its first call-in shortly as well. Oh, really? Yeah. Incredible. And this is where you're going to be able to go, um, basically, loads of things, scuba, uh, scuba diving, snorkelling, swimming with dolphins, ATV off-roading, lying in a hammock and drinking those pina coladas. The choice is yours. Relaxing day at sea before you then go through to Tortola, one of the, one of the part of the BVI, the British Virgin Islands. This used to be the haunt of Blackbeard and Bluebeard, uh, Bluebeard and Sir Francis Drake. Uh, it's a gorgeous place to go through to the Virgin Gorder and wake your way through all the little rock pools to head to places like Apple Bay and Smuggler's Cove, which really ring ring with all these kind of ideas of, 
uh, you know, the ancient history that this place has. Great place again to go diving. You can also swim with dolphins here and much, much more. Then we're going through to St. Martin. Two flags for all this island. It's part Dutch, part French. You'll be landing the Dutch side of uh, Phillipsburg. You'll see all the crew coming back with their DVD players yeah. and their yeah. iPads. It's a great shopping. Great shopping. Great one for shopping, yeah. yeah. Shopping. And it's great, for, it's great for beaches. And the best beach is the airport beach on the far side where the planes come in to land and they literally can suck you out the water. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you have got to incredible. be careful yeah. if you've been there. Yeah, yeah. incredible. Okay, then we go through to Antigua, uh, the largest, what we call the British Leeward Isles, uh, one of the Caribbean's most spectacular coastlines. They boast they have a beach for every day of the year. I haven't tried, I've done, I haven't done all of them, but they have got a lot of gorgeous places. Dartwood's my favourite on the top end of the, of the island. Uh, you can swim with the stingrays uh, out on a sandbar and hold them and feed them. It's incredible. Um, so much to do. And I'm, I'm going to have to go quick because we haven't got much time, sadly, because there's so many ports. But then you've got a relaxing day at sea before you go through to my favourite, Grenada. This is the, known as the Spice Island because this is where they produce a lot of nutmeg and almond and ginger and vanilla. And you can almost smell it in the air when you, when you land. You can get a boat just from where you dock and go around to Grand Dance Beach which just stretches for miles down the coach uh, down the coach down the coast is the word I was looking for and uh, this is Grand Dance Bay and it's incredible and you'll just you know you'll just see everyone heading down there and just stretching out and having a fantastic beach day or heading into the jungle interior to the waterfalls and those spices and they've really all got a unique um character haven't they, those islands that oh, got yeah. that itinerary yeah. so there's lots of people who've never been to the Caribbean say to me oh, I don't really want to do the Caribbean because it's just a beach and it's not when you get onto the individual islands oh, they feel different, really yeah. different particularly this, particularly this itinerary pool you're right yeah, because Dutch Antilles are so different yeah. Yeah, yeah. like Aruba's totally flat it gives you a real feel for that entire region on that particular item. Absolutely. Yeah, very, very good point. And then, of course, this gorgeous ship where you're, you're going to be sunbathing in between all those island stops, you know, drinking out. And, between you know. the pub and the casino, brilliant shows. You know, the Tamarind, which is the, the midship sound. So cabins are a really nice size on this ship as well. Well, um, just to remind you, the price tonight, I mean, it's amazing. Uh, if you go on the 11th of December, you could miss all the horrible Christmas hustle and bustle that's happening here in the UK. You could get away for 9.59. There's no single supplement either on that date. So it's, it's amazing. Yeah. So for any of our single ladies and gents, if you book the 11th of December, there's no supplement whatsoever. We've got return flights from Birmingham or Manchester, and you are, of course, overnight on board in Barbados as well. Now, let's look at the prices. Um, the 11th of December says 9.59, but looking at January, February, March, you've got amazing pricing across the board. We have sold out of the, uh, the balcony on the 8th of January already, by the way, but we have got availability on those other days. That's um, when you work out just the price of the flight, it's a lot. Well, is that, yeah, you get the return you know, flight, the transfer to the ship, plus yeah. the accommodation. If it, uh, the, I, I think the prices are amazing. Um, but I would say that, but I just really... No, but they are. The <laughs> I just can't, I'm, I'm really surprised at the prices that we've got. Can we just say, if you book tonight as well, you will get, of course, the £25 M&S voucher, and the first 25 bookings will, of course, get that goodie bag as well. But we are very busy, as you can imagine. Keith. Very quickly, Sarah Avis just said, uh, just, went, just got back from the Caribbean, well, well in January, on Ventura. Um, defo going back there. Had a fantastic yeah. time, so thank you, Excellent. Sarah. Excellent. Um, now... Many of you might not realise, Keith and I are amazing dancers, aren't we, Keith? <laughs> we are! I was quite surprised when I got here earlier. You did you see us doing... Well, it was when you were taking the sequins off. Yeah. That's what I was surprised I've still got them on, that. just under the... Yeah, yeah, I have as well. Yeah, actually, I, don't, yeah. I don't like to take them off. But you know, Keith and I, we were busy doing the tango <laughs> together. Keith wanted to do the waltz, of course. But, um, but it's um, my shimmy. Don't yeah. <laughs> Such quite good. But... <laughs> <laughs> let's talk about dancing on piano, because... We have four voyages a year uh, that we work with Pino, uh, Strictly Come Dancing. Wow. And it's a great, we bring the show to life on board the ship. We take two sets of professional dancers. We take one of the judges. We run a competition on board. We give master classes. We've got Strictly themed quizzes, Strictly themed nights. You know, that's Craig there hosting one of our dance classes. There's some of our guests actually taking part in a real scoring Strictly Come Dancing uh, competition. It must, be, it must be amazing. It, it is, and we take it? the dresses from the series. You know? Do you? Yeah, yeah. They, there, go, you know, they can put them on, you could really shimmy in a little bit I've of had my eye on that pink one for a while. Um, and yeah, we, you know, we, we really work to give you the background information to what goes into getting that show on air on a Saturday night. It's, I mean, it's been more popular than ever this year, yeah, hasn't it? Has, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we, we take the producers out, we take the dress designers, um, and like I said, we really give you God. that intimate access. But if you go with your other half who doesn't like to dance, it's not 
fully themed so there are enough opportunities if you don't want to go and see dancing uh, so, to actually take part in other other activities on board but so, it's, it's great and one of so our again, most popular cruises if you want more information just ring the call center right yeah. now and let's yeah. see what cruise is available anyway we're back on the britannia um and oh i love this one actually because this is your chance of visiting the stunning norwegian fjords and guess what <laughs> Keith's on board again I'm to tell you more. I know. I'm just hiding them. <laughs> Inspired by P&O Cruise's illustrious past, but designed very much for their fabulous future, this is the biggest cruise ship ever designed for the UK cruise market. Welcome to P&O's beautiful Britannia. One thing you will definitely notice on board Britannia is that there's an abundance of excellent deck space and oodles of sun loungers to help you worship. In fact, there are four main pools to choose from, including the adult-only Serenity Pool, a perfect place to escape to for some downtime while the kids are being looked after elsewhere. There's 13 different bars on board, four of which are out on deck, which means you can enjoy the sunshine or the stars as you sip your favourite tipple. The stylish new blue cocktail bar is the perfect place for a dirty martini, or there's Brodie's. I love that place, and that's where P&O Cruises have introduced the biggest selection of British beers at sea, with over 70 to choose from, representing 56 different UK counties. The food is headed up by P&O Cruises' iconic food heroes. You can enjoy the taste of India with the master of spice Atel Kutcher's fabulous Sindhu restaurant, or savour mouth-watering gala dinner options and menus created by the godfather of UK cooking, Mr Marco Pierre White. If you really want to spoil yourself, you can also book Eric Lanlad's afternoon tea experience or head to his Market Cafe. It's a French-style patisserie that features fine cheeses, antipasto, charcuterie, tapas and speciality breads. You can enjoy the live music, comedy, cabarets and game shows of the Live Lounge or sit back for West End-style shows in this fabulous new theatre which features a stunning LED backdrop. Strictly fans also won't be disappointed with the elegant wooden floor crystal room. It's dedicated to dance and the perfect location to uh, rumba the night away. <laughs> P&O Cruises have really pushed the boat out when it comes to the accommodation. There's a sumptuous range of boutique offerings to choose from, including well thought out single cabins to these incredible suites designed by Richmond International that come with your own butler. And all the accommodation on board includes flat screen TVs, pamper packs from the White Company and bespoke artwork from British artists. I, I just can't believe how beautiful she is. It, it's, it's stunning, and it's the first time we've given one particular ship to a designer who has designed every single area on board the ship. Normally we give it out to mm. different designers and architects. It shows. And they'll take restaurants yeah. or cabins, but mm. it's all the way through. And it really, it's, it's a strange sensation when you get on board because you forget that you're actually on a ship. And, it's and it, just and like a lots of people yeah, say that because it is like a floating this. hotel. Now, Keith, you 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 well, bumped into one of the big fans Christmas. of the show, yeah. and, you know, Planet Cruise, and um, Ian and his wife Pamela have just got back from Britannia. They've, here they are. They've been out in the Caribbean for a couple of weeks, looking very tan. Yeah, already. It's, it's a very <laughs> tan. Beautiful Britannia in the background. Um, and we've got another one as well, and they're all dressed up, ready for one of your fantastic in formal nights on board. In the crystal room, in our ballroom. Yeah. Oh. So, uh, big hello to Ian and Pamela. Thank you for sending those photos in. Yes, thank you so much. Now, um... This cruise with uh, Pino goes from my favourite places, the Norwegian Fjords. So we start off in Southampton. We've got our first day at sea, Keith, haven't we? We do, relaxing day at sea to head over. And then Bergen is your first port of call. Um, incredible welcome into the Fjords itself. Of course, the old Hanseatic Wharf is the real highlight here. These tall, uh, wooden, narrow, wooden peaked buildings and, and, and various colours that you can walk around, quite atmospheric. You can head up Mount Floyd and take the old funicular up there. You can walk back down, enjoy the fish market or head over to Lake Nordas, which is uh, the home of Edvard Grieg, one of Norway, Norway's famous, uh, well, most famous probably, composer. Then from here, you're going to go through to Alessand. Um, this was totally rebuilt in, in 1904, 1905 after a fire in the Art Nouvelle style. So it's got a very magical fairy tale feel, lots of spires and turrets, got a real ornamental kind of style to it. Uh, and it's great as you as you walk around. You've got a great chance to go through to a huge aquarium which is half in the sea and half out, which I recommend, called the Atlanta Sparkum. And also had to head down um, to a beautiful old Uns lighthouse as well, which I did with my dad earlier in the year and it's spectacular. Then we're gonna recommend that you go through, well you you will be through if you stay on the ship to Flom. And it's in Flom that you get to enjoy this place. It means the little place between steep mountains and it's deep down in, in Songerfjord, which is the, the world's longest fjord. And it's in a 
wonderful opportunity if you take one of the world's steepest railways uh, around these kind of really sharp bends through tunnels right up to the top for great views. There you're seeing a picture of it. It's a chance for you to adventure down to the caves of Goodfangen uh, and it's also a chance for you to go and see the local goats where they're still producing goat's cheese. The views are amazing on that train though, aren't they? Absolutely yeah. stunning, yeah, it's probably the best thing to do. Then we're going through from Flom to Stavanger, uh, beautiful place to finish off your cruise, great chance for you to get your Norwegian woolly jumpers and trolls. Also a chance to go to some great museums like the Petroleum Museum, um, the Norwegian Canning Museum, to go and see the, the largest church, the Stavanger Cathedral, which is set by this gorgeous lake. Go and feed the swans, they're quite cheeky. And if you get a chance as well, just go and see the old fishermen's houses, uh, kind of parallel to where you dock, or take a cruise and enjoy these places. You saw the Trolls time before, and this is the Pulpit Rock down the Lyris Fjord. Absolutely stunning. Take about four hours of your time, but it's well worth it. That is a highlight of that port of call. And I know these pictures, you know, look really beautiful, but honestly, in, in real life, the fjords are they are spectacular. We can't do it justice, can no, we? No, without words you, or by photos. You know, if you think about doing this, do it tonight. Um, now, price wise, again, we've got an exclusive low deposit of only £50 per person, which is really good. Um, and also, do want to point out, um, I was amazed at this, I don't know why the price is so low, but we actually got a single special for the 27th of August at 8.09. Yeah, I was that, surprised that's, at I'm that. I was really yeah, surprised, really surprised that. That's pretty much peak season. Keith's not on, is he? No, Keith's, <laughs> Keith's not <laughs> single anymore. Oh, right. No, oh, Keith's not right, up, no. <laughs> no, he had seven barren years, but he's now really loved up. So, uh, but the single special, 8.09, uh, on the 27th of August, that one will go very quickly, so again, Please book that tonight. And uh, price-wise, so we've got prices there starting at just six one nine. I've got to say the because uh, if you're ever going to go for balcony, somewhere like the fjords is the place to do it. And the the, the pricing on the balcony is really good, isn't it? Yeah, again, really and, and, and don't forget for the single uh, traveller, you know, we we don't just leave you alone. Whilst the ship is one of our biggest ships and newest ships, there's lots of group exercise, yeah. group exercise, group meetings that we'll do. We'll take care of you for a single travel yeah. and make sure that you you are really taken care of and get the advice for when you go on, uh, across off, on the port of call to see those amazing parts of the world. It's, it, it, it is a brilliant way to do it. Um, and I always think that, you know, when you are aboard a cruise ship, you, you do feel very safe and secure. Yeah. You know, you're not kind of, you know, sometimes if you go on holiday by yourself, you don't have a clue where you're going and which restaurants to go to. Everything's there, isn't it? And again, there are, there are parts on Britannia where if you don't want to be part of the cruise, you know, you don't want to be involved in absolutely everything, the crow's nest is stunning. A beautiful lookout bar. We've got the blue bar in the atrium. We've got the limelight club. Uh, and if anybody books the limelight club, if anybody books this particular cruise, I'll, I'll personally arrange them a table in the limelight club. Really? Uh, for, wow. uh, for an act of their choice who's on during that voyage. And we've Fantastic. got people like Jackie Graham, Madeline Bell, Kiki D, uh, Eric and Ern, which is us two actually doing our cabaret act <laughs> that we do, uh, but only after June. Uh, but no, if, uh, if, if for the first two people who book this particular voyage, I'll, I'll sort out a table in the right. night club, so they get a great night of entertainment. As we I'll book me. it now. Uh, anyway, <laughs> we've still got um, more cruises to share with you, uh, and this is our next one, which is taking you to Gibraltar, Barcelona and Lisbon. Anyway, Keith, talk us through, because we start off in Southampton. We've got a couple of days at sea, haven't we? Yeah, a couple of days, uh, a couple of days at sea to enjoy the amazing ship that, that uh, Paul's just been talking about. And then you arrive in Gibraltar, um, you know, this iconic port. Larry Lee said a, slice of, a piece of port was sliced off and towed 500 miles south. You know, it's got history, it's got, it's got wonderful kind of British icons. The Bobbies look like the Bobbies over here. You've got a Marks and Spencers. But more than that, you've got the cheeky Barbary apes, you've got the caves to go and explore, loads and loads of duty free. And, and a kind of, it's like Britain but with sunshine, you know, what, what we yeah. all aspire to and It dream does of. feel like it's just been dropped there, doesn't it? it does. When you're on, it's really quite bizarre when it, you get off for the first time. It really yeah. does. Um, and then relaxing day at sea before through Barcelona. Um, beautiful chance to go and see the Catalonian capital, um, the best urban beaches in the whole of the world, according to National Geographic. The, the, the work of Gaudi for the cathedral through to the homes, through to the great parks. Um, you know, you've got the, the new camp there, the football museum, if you love it, you know, if you love your, you love the beautiful game. And then, of course, you've just got the, the last Ramblas, which wanders right the way up with all the street performers. Okay, moving on, we're going to move through to Palma de Mallorca. I spent so much of my cruising life um, going out of here. It's an incredible port, lovely long waterfront promenade to walk down to. Again, a stunning cathedral, and behind that cathedral, loads of winding streets where you can get Gamba Salioli and the terracotta pots, and you can go through and get the uh, the wonderful um, 
uh, hot chocolate that they do in Bar Bosch, which has been serving it for around about 200 years. And they've got these wonderful like patisserie items you dunk in. Dunk in. Yeah. It's food again. <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> food again, yeah. <laughs> you know me too well. <laughs> then we go through to Ibiza. Now, it's rare to see Ibiza on a cruise itinerary. It's got this reputation as a party town, but you know what? It, I mean, yes, it has that. It has had that reputation, but it's a beautiful island. And, and because of this, it, people forget it, and it very often it's not visited. But it's stunning. It's got a gorgeous, gorgeous uh, little villages that you can go and see. Loads of great beaches. In fact, I think there's over 56 sandy beaches around the coastline for you to go and enjoy. Uh, and the kind of mountains and hills. It's very beautiful. Relaxing day at sea before you go through to Cadith. Cadith is your port of call if you want to go through and enjoy Seville. However, I think Cadith in its own right deserves a mention. Wonderful fortified walls you can walk around. Gorgeous, close, kind of Andalusian feel with a flower market and um, kind of, you know, the locals there. The smell of baking bread as you walk through the streets. But head into Seville if you want to. There, of course, you've got the Orange Blossom streets. You've got the, 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 um, the Alcazar Fortress. Uh, you've got the Al Alhambra, um, you know, which is based on the Alhambra Palace of Grenada. You've got the famous Jewish Quarter there as well, with these wonderful whitewashed houses you can wander around. Um, it's a beautiful place to go and enjoy. Then we're going to go through to Lisbon. Incredible arrival, again, down the Tagas River, going past the, the Bellum Tower, the 15th century fortification that guarded it for so years, so many years. I always say that Lisbon is, is a city of bright yellow trams, bright yellow custard tarts and hills and therefore you need to use the you need to eat a custard tart as you use the tram to go up and down the hills <laughs> so and back to food again absolutely head out uh, on tram 15 it will take you down here to, 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 to the place where Vasco da Gama is buried uh, the wonderful monastery uh, or you can take tram 28 which will take you up and down the Bali or Alto and the Baxia uh, and really into the heart of what is a magical city uh, and then uh, a couple of final days at sea, and the, the days at sea are brilliant. You know, there's always so much happening on the ships, and then back, of course, to Southampton. What, what is amazing, you know, I'm doing the maths here. You're away for nearly two weeks on Pino's latest and most beautiful ship, the Britannia, and we've got a price tonight: seven, eight, nine. Again, exclusive low deposits. You know, the prices are really good tonight, but for you to secure them, you only need to find fifty pounds per person. Um, as we mentioned throughout the show. Uh, you can always add on uh, a pre-night stay at the Mean Valley Marriott in Southampton for only £79 per person. And actually, if you wait for nearly two weeks, you'd get all of your parking and port transfers included. So it does work out even better value, doesn't it? Yeah. Uh, and single, we've got that at 1269 and it works out just £61 per person per night. Now, we've got, coming up, if you, if you can get away on the 1st of December... <laughs> We've got a price on the Ventura right now. Have a look at this. You might you might think, hang on, I'll get the glasses. That can't be right. 12 nights from 479. This has come down in price tonight. You couldn't believe this, Paul. No, I, I was you genuinely... Weren't for the company, yeah, you yeah. I, I haven't seen a deal like this for a, a, an itinerary like that, for that length and, on I mean, that ship. It, it's ridiculous. It works out under £40 per person per night. You've got guaranteed winter sun, haven't you? 355 days of sunshine in the Canary Islands, absolutely, yep. Yeah. Yep, yeah, so Madeira, Tenerife, Grand Canaria. And it's a, a very, very last-minute special offer tonight. The 1st of December. That's just over a week away, isn't it? Yeah, and if I book it, do I get the £25 mic suspension option? <laughs> um, I think we can honour that. OK, yeah. that's fine. Yeah. Yeah. You're in charge, you said. So it is, I know, it, I know it's a late departure, but that item with Lisbon, with Lanzarote, Gran Canaria, Tenerife, Madeira, they're, again, they're iconic ports of call, and at that time of year, don't be worried about the weather, you do still get sunshine Absolutely in do. the Canaries at in price, December. At a price per night that's cheaper than you'll pay for virtually, most, virtually any hotel yeah. in the UK. Yeah. Yes. You wouldn't no. even get a crummy B&B, &B, would you? So, um, no. but it's a very last-minute deal. If you can get away on the first of December, you've got to, I would say you've got to book that tonight. Four seven nine, twelve nights. Give us a call on that free phone number: oh eight hundred eight forty ten eighty eight. That is amazing. I've just come back incredible. from a cruise, but. I'd do that in a heartbeat if I could. I would. Yeah. If they give me the time. I'd, I'd lose my job, but I'd love to do that anyway. <laughs> We've got a final cruise for you, and it's a biggie. It's going to take you over to South Africa, to the wonderful Cape Town. So, we're flying from London Heathrow over to Cape Town, um, and we're staying there for two nights in a five-star hotel. Cape Town is amazing. Cape, isn't yeah, it? known as the Garden City, uh, you know, South Africa's most beautiful, most romantic, most visited city. You know, we know it for Tabletop Mountain, or the mountain that, 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 that used to erupt out of the sea, as the locals used to call it. And it's an incredible place. Uh, people live outside here, and that's the best way to explore it, you know, to get out and hike and, and, and get a feeling for the place. You know, it's great because you can hang out with baboons and zebras at Cape Point in the morning. You can dine at a seaboard bistro for lunch. You can 
can have a, a tipple at a wine estate in the afternoon and then party the night away, you know, in one of the clubs in the evening. Boulders Beach is a great place to go and see the penguins that you saw there. Um, you also got a chance to go through to Robin Island, of course, famous for imprisoning Nelson Mandela yeah, during the apartheid course. years. And old prisoners actually take you around now. People that used to be in prison there do the tours. Really? Which is How quite incredible. Um, and, and, then, and Keith, while we're there, we do get, anyway, included, we do get the... Um, you've got a half-day city, city table mountain and waterfront tour. So you, so you get that also included in the two nights in this five-star hotel. So it's a great start to you. It's what we do at Planet Cruise so well. Yeah. We give you these bespoke stays before you then invite your, your luxury cruise. Um, uh, talking of which, yes, you're on board the Aurora for an amazing 90 nights. What a, what a view of that yeah. sailing into Sydney there, one of the most beautiful sailings. Yeah, it, I'm sure you've done that. Again, and I well. think a lot of people forget about the sail-in and the departure from a port of call. It's, a, oh, it's, it's such cool. an integral yeah. part of it. And, and you get to see the, you know, the coastline, the cities, the ports in a completely different way. It's Absolutely. well worth getting up early and doing and, it. And if, if the set away so, you know, in the afternoon evening, you've got some great parties going on. Yeah, and also, like whilst, whilst we're an absolutely British product, you know, we bring on local entertainers in all the parts of course, so it gives you a flavour of, of yeah. the type of customs and the style of music that you get in those parts of course. And Aurora uh, had a great refit last year. We've got a brand oh, really? new, amazing uh, children's facility in there now. Um, and again, the, this ship, again, a little bit like Oceana, Lots of we've got lots of regular passengers who use it, um, but some of our new to cruise guests are selecting that ship as well now. Which um, again, I think it's probably because of the size as a trial size ship. Yeah. Um, but again, it's you get exactly the same standard of service that you get on any other P and O cruise ship, and it's a British product. You know, it you, you feel at home on the ships, and you know, like I said, you're paying in sterling, British TV, British entertainment. It's you know, Keith's on it every now and again, oh, eating yeah. British food. It's, All the time. You know, it's, it, it just works. I think. Well, <laughs> Keith, uh, we've only got a couple of minutes, so talk us through the, the amazing okay, material. Okay, so uh, I've got to be really bashed tonight, haven't I? I really have. Um, okay, so uh, you've had that wonderful stay already in Cape Town, that wonderful half-day city Table Mountain and Waterfront tour, then you're getting on board the ship. You've got another day in Cape Town, so three full days in Cape Town, that's amazing. Then a relaxing day at sea, soaking up the sunshine, seeing the views as you head over to Namibia, uh, Wolvis Bay. This is right on the edge of the great Namib desert, a place of extraordinary beauty, these immense dunes and moonscapes. Uh, it's a great chance, um, a great place for producing salt, funnily enough. Uh, they produce 400,000 tonnes a year. So uh, it's a really on the fish and chips. You definitely, I can see yeah. where he's going. <laughs> <laughs> you can also go and see the seals. Sometimes in, when you, if you do a cruise around the bay, they'll swim up to you and they'll try and see if you've got any food for them. You saw the flamingos there, the amazing bird life. You can do a 4x4 safari uh, into the Namib Desert itself, which is the oldest desert in the world. Uh, it's incredible. It really, really is. Then you've got a, some relaxing days at sea before you go to a maiden port. And this is actually the first time we featured it on the show, Banjul. And this is a maiden call for P&O themselves. It's the Gambia. It's an incredible opportunity um, to trace back the history. Do you remember the, the show Roots? Yeah, of course. Well, this yeah. is where it was based. Obviously. So you can actually do a tour. P&O are offering an amazing tour, which will take you uh, to, around uh, the places where the TV series filmed. Uh, and you can also go from here to, to a nature reserve, and you can go and see, you know, rhino, hyenas, all the kind of, you know, Africa brought, brought to life for you. So really nice to have that on, on, on the show tonight, that Absolutely, course, yeah. absolutely. The relaxing day at sea before we go through to the Cape Verde Islands, Mindelo, um, this is incredible. This is a, a real, real, this is pretty much as, as far off the beaten track as you're going to get. A great hot beach destination for you. Also a chance to um, just go through and go to the African markets, the colourful goods. This was a former slave centre, so there's a lot of history here dating back to that. Uh, and it's also a chance to go and see a capoeira dance show, which of course is the martial arts of the slaves developed uh, in dancing uh, and you can go and do that uh, it's a traditional it's a tradition of the local area which I recommend relaxing day at sea before you then have finally made your way back over to Tenerife and the Canary Islands so you've still got great sunshine here Tenerife you will know about it. you've got Laurel Park if you're there with a the family with the kind of dolphin and sea lion shows you've also got Mount Teed Spain's tallest uh, uh, mountain which you can climb up and down and, and enjoy and then you go through to Gran Canaria. Gran Canaria of course uh, drenched in year-round sunshine, beautiful beaches, pretty whitewashed villages, uh, a chance to head to the Christopher Columbus Museum or head into the Arucas Mountains and see some of those banana plantations and vineyards. Uh, and then relaxing days at sea and you're back to Southampton so all the way round you can get you can take you can buy as much as you want put it into your cabin there's no worry about being penalized on a flight home. Southampton.
I, I always think if there's a long flight, it's better to get it out of the way at the beginning, isn't it? And then have that lovely cruise back to Southampton. Very quickly, uh, your flights are from London Heathrow. We've also got them available from most UK airports. And you are going to get those two nights stay uh, in that five-star hotel in the wonderful Cape Town as well. Uh, now, um, I don't know where the time's gone. Um, it's been an amazing hour with, of course, P&O. But here's a quick recap. Remember, if you book any of the cruises featured tonight, you will get the £25 M&S voucher. And the first 25 bookings will, of course, got that goodie bag. So, very quickly, we started off with the amazing Britannia, the latest ship, summer in France, Spain, from Southampton there. An amazing price of 569 and that exclusive low deposit of just £50 per person. Balcony special is just 669 Then we were on board the Oceana with, of course, P&O. Uh, this is Italy, Corsica, Greece. Um, free Wi-Fi with this one, so it's 120 minutes free uh, internet time. And, of course, we've got flights available also from Birmingham, Manchester or Glasgow with just a small supplement as well. Then... Our third cruise was, and Keith was on board all of these, remember, uh, was aboard <laughs> the Azura. He's eating, food. eating, <laughs> eating food. <laughs> it was. Uh, 959 is, is the amazing lead price on this one if you go for the 11th of December. And there's a single price uh, with no supplement on that date as well. And that's just 959. Amazing Eastern Caribbean cruise. Then we nipped back aboard. The Britannia with Keith, and we were looking at this cruise around the beautiful, stunning Norwegian fjords. Six one nine, and again, that exclusive low deposit tonight of just fifty pounds per person. Great single price on that one. Uh, if you go for the twenty seventh of August, our single ladies and gents can grab at eight oh nine. And then um, I really like the next one actually. Again on board the Britannia, and it took us to Gibraltar, Barcelona, and Lisbon. Seven eight nine for nearly two weeks away there. And again, for tonight's show, £50 deposit only. Single price there, 1269 And then finally, that stunning 22-night cruise, Cape Town, uh, Gambia and Cape Verde, of course, under £1,700. Uh, now, everything is available on our website, of course, with, with Planet Cruise. We also had that hot pick, of course, for the 1st of December. Um, we are sadly nearly out of time. No. Oh, can I say a massive no. thank you. Yes. Don't forget we, my 13 night Britannia. First two people to book, I'll give them a table in the limelight. We will not forget. I'm sure that will have been booked already. Paul, that. thank you Fantastic. so thank much. Thank you. It's been great to see you. Keith, to see you thank again. you really for, uh, for what? travelling been... across the fleet and eating. It's been great to see you. <laughs> Keith, fan word from you. Thanks, Keith. Follow up for me. Well, I, I mean, I can't, I don't know what to say. It's so many amazing show, tonight. isn't it? Absolutely um, amazing. Absolutely book amazing. tonight and you'll get the best offers, don't forget, and all of those extras. We'll see you soon here with the Planet Cruise. Loads more coming up straight after this. Don't forget, later this week, it's Black Friday. So make sure you tune in at 11 a.m. on Friday morning as we're giving you the best opportunity to grab a cruise bargain this year. We have got incredible deals, massive discounts, exclusive prices and tons of special offers. So this will be a perfect opportunity to maybe try your first cruise, tick off a destination from the top of your bucket list or even treat yourself to an extra special Christmas present. And if you really can't tune in at 11am, then don't forget you can catch the show after midday on our YouTube channel or our website. So no excuses. I'll see you Friday at 11am on Ideal World.